Welcome back once again everyone, I'm Capelius Games, this is EVE Online, I'm in a burger. it's time for another level 4 mission to add to our ever expanding list of level 4 mission library guides. And what level 4 mission are we doing today? We're doing the right hand of Zazmataz, very strange name, very cool mission. You go in, you kill a lot of ships, including one called Zor, and Zor makes an appearance in a couple of missions. And the cool thing about Zor is that he always drops an implant. There are two different implants he drops. The first one is Zor's custom navigation link, which is worth about 7,000 isk. And the other one is Zor's custom navigation hyperlink. And the hyperlink is worth about 70 or 80 million. It used to be worth a lot more, but, you know, people have been farming these missions. Because he appears in two missions, you get to roll the dice on his loot table quite often. The rewards of this mission are 751,000 isk with a further 630,000 if you do it within 2 hours and 52 minutes and 3,145 loyalty points. It's only one jump away so that's nice. So this mission is not that difficult. There is quite a lot of DPS in the field if you let them get really close but you know we don't have our gear so we don't really care about that. Let's accept and go and blow some stuff up. Warp drive active. Right. We're on the way to the mission, we made it here nice and safe. Just a little bit of blurb. One thing I forgot to show you, I am once again in an empty clone. I have been in an empty clone for this entire series. I know I sometimes forget to show you in the videos, but I am always in an empty clone. So if you have the same skills and the same fit as me, you should get the same performance as me, without any fancy implants or boosters getting in the way. Another thing I forgot to tell you is that the enemies in this mission are mercenaries, so you most definitely want to have kinetic dealing damage and you want to tank for pretty much all the damage types. There is Zor himself. You can take Zor out first if you want, but I'm going to try and get rid of these frigates first because they're annoying. Zor does do a thousand damage every four seconds with cruise missiles, so you can eliminate a rather large amount of DPS on the field by getting rid of him first. You will notice there was not a warp gate that you take to get into this pocket. It is an open dead space pocket, which means you can warp in at whatever range you want. Most of the DPS on the field is short range, which is why everything's a yellow box. So if you let these guys get close, they will put the hurt on you, but we're not going to let them get close. There are three named M NPCs. Elena Gasquet, who is just a renamed normal cruiser, does not drop anything good. Severin McLeary, who also does not drop anything good, and Zor, who does. As we see, Zor is only worth half a million isk. He's not like... Um, Genvi Jeepon from another one of the missions, which is two and a half million, or an IR Scarlet, which is five. This guy's only th 500 now. You do have to destroy the outpost headquarters. That is why it is indeed a dead space overseer structure, which is what all the mission objective structures in missions should be, but for some reason they're not. Something the developers forgot to do or just didn't do. Let's save location on the wreck so we can come back and salvage all this. Hey, just Zor and the outpost headquarters to go. And then I'll come back in the Noctis and we'll find out which of his two implants Zor is going to drop for us today. Not the most difficult of missions if you can snipe it like we just did. As I said, if you let this group of cruisers get close, you're going to be in trouble. And I killed the frigates first because all the frigates here um, web and warp jam, so that's something else you don't want. You don't want to be wed to a crawl and then have all these cruisers right up in your face. That would be bad times. Hey, outpost headquarters is about to blow up. It drops a cargo container. It's just got some random tr NPC trading goods. I'll show you that once we get back in the Noctis. So let's go and hand this mission in, shall we? Orb drive active. That did not take long. And we're out of here before the outpost is finished exploding. Okay, let's complete the mission. That was seven minutes since the moment we clicked accept. You don't get any shorter than that. So I shall go and clear the field in my Noctis and I shall report back on what we found. 
Okay, I have returned in the Noctis from our looting and salvaging trip. Let's have a review of this mission. Ancient pay was 751,000 with an extra 630 because we did it within the time bonus. And the bounty prizes are only 1.5 million. That is pretty terrible. Loot and salvage, only 11.8 million. Of which 10.5 is worth keeping. It's pretty nice selection of good weapons there. Salvage wise, only 502,000. Salvage was absolute garbage. And tags wise, this is the implant. As we can see, it's only the navigation link. It's only worth 5,000 isk, which is terrible. This DNA thing is used in some loyalty point stores to buy something that I can't quite remember. These bodyguard insignia have absolutely no use at all. And this hacker card lets you bypass one of the gates in the Worlds Collide level 4 mission should you wish to do so. So all told, we're only running at about 14 million isk for this entire mission, but then it did only take 7 minutes to run, so you know, you can't complain too much. It's almost worth running because you never know, one of these days he's gonna drop the custom hyperlink which is worth 70 or 80 million. So that would have been nice, but it was not to be this time. Come back again and see if we get the other mission in which Zor makes an appearance, or if we get something else entirely. Until then, do look after yourself, and I will talk to you again very soon.